Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Yeah, shut up, Pee Wee. All right, hey, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. This is Shadow of War, and this is the arena, the hellacious arena battle. And um, this is a practice run, a final practice run you're seeing. Um, I never intended to do this to live commentary, so I just, you know, I did a whole bunch of practice runs. And um, I knew that near the end of these practice runs, I would start recording, and the one that came out would be the one that I used. And this is the one I used. Um, I'm just equipping the armor that is give, gonna give me the most health. I don't know why I didn't plunk the vitality gem, gems into the armor and the cloak. That's what I usually do. I guess I was just in such a hurry to get right back into the arena and give another go at my latest strategies that I forgot. But I strongly recommend that the vitality gems are your green gems. Put those into your cloak and your armor, whatever you got, to give yourself some extra health, which is probably the thing you're going to need the most in the arena and the arena battle takes place in uh, Minas Ethel so back to Minas Ethel we go and let's go to the high deer station or the high deer tower closest to the arena takes place in the Colosseum of course there it is the arena worth 5,000 and change XP and you get a whole bunch of loot from the captains you kill now the arena battle is basically four captains uh, one after the other occasionally actually more than occasionally I've seen this happen a number of times the, uh, the third and fourth captain yes. you you might have to face them together sometimes the fourth captain comes up before you finish the third captain so yeah be prepared for that I think it may be I don't know not killing the third captain fast enough or it could be a time thing could be a time trigger anyways uh, the most important um, upgrade is savage ice the upgrade for the freeze pin skill because the first captain you face Try to draw as far out. as I could see is always a war troll and you don't want to be going toe to toe with these guys so my strategy for him is um, freeze pin okay you got to get the savage ice upgrade so that you can freeze pin war, tro war trolls and then shoot him in the head freeze pin shoot him in the head actually I might amend that strategy let's just watch the cutscene and I'll get to the strategy afterwards The orcs' numbers have swelled beyond count. They're preparing for another push. No one has seen your father since the last battle. I have men looking for him. this the witch king himself comes to negotiate my father's blade my orbs have your change send out the ranger of the black gate to die at the hands of my and upon his defeat, your leader will be returned. Refuse, and all that is flesh shall suffer. I come for you, you child of Gondor. Understand. That the Uruks are incapable of mercy? That my father may already be dead? Ignore their taunts. We mustn't allow them. The Uruks love spectacle. If we can distract them in the arena, we can sneak into their camp and find my father. Can I ask this of you? Give them a show to remember. Try not to kill him too quickly.
Okay, here we go. The arena. The war troll. Captain. Um, like I was saying, freeze pin. Headshot freeze pin. But I, this is what I did. But I think in retrospect, I'd probably do a freeze pin and then two headshots. And then another freeze pin because, you know. And this guy is vulnerable to stealth, but, you know, that's not going to help. Um, fear of poison. Fear of curse. That's not going to help because remember, you're going to have a cursed weapon. Thankfully, he's like, you know, you can hit him with everything. But he does have some deadly weapons. Yeah, epic fire bombs, and he's got a flame weapon. You don't want to, you know, we got to take this guy down hard and fast. This is the thing that, you know, throws multiple bombs rapidly. You don't want to let this guy loose. You got to control the fight the entire way. That's why I say freeze pin. Um, headshot, free spin, headshot, or free spin, headshot, headshot, free spin, headshot, headshot. Here we go. Free spin, headshot. Meanwhile, I'm building up my might. Dude, that's all my arrows. Go grab some more arrows. Get some distance from those fire bombs. And I want to sucker him over to the grog barrel. There we go, got close enough. He's on fire, taking major damage. And he's stunned enough, so I'm just doing like, you know, headshots as much as I can. Just still keep him at bay. And my might meter is full. Let's go grab some more arrows. And I'm just gonna rush up and let him have it with a cleansing blaze. That should really screw him up. Back off. A couple of arrow shots should do him in. And he's done. Now the next captain... Um, actually, first of all, we have to taunt the crowd. And I just want to take a look at this armor, just in case it you know, happens to be something spectacular that could help me out. So 365... Maximum health, 18% chance that a critical hit lights enemies on fire. I don't really like bonuses like this. The main reason is when you light an enemy on fire, if you keep hitting them, you light yourself on fire, which is, I don't think the developers did that on purpose or what, but yeah. I can't stand those bonuses in swords and yeah. So I, I tend to avoid those. I came into this arena to fight Sauron's champion. I am still waiting! Okay, now this guy, what I usually do is go rushing up and sucker punch him with whatever I've got. If my might meter is full, I hit him with a cleansing blaze. If not, just get right in there before he gets into this intro. And before the other orcs, like, get in and help him out. There you go, give him a little sucker punch, get some damage in. And here is his completely fumble fingered. The crowd is seething with excitement! And so am I. I'm seething with all sorts of things, actually. <laughs> this is going to be glorious! Okay, now this guy is mortally vulnerable to stealth. Now, you may not think you can stealth in the arena, but you can. I'm going to show you on the legendary uh, captain that appears at the very end. You can actually pull it off. So, um, I want to see if I can pull this off. But it was, this was the kind of a Murphy's Law kind of thing. Okay, so now I'm in stealth mode. Stealth mode, rather. You can tell because you see there's my little image over there. My wraith image indicating that I'm hidden. So now, th what happened is he took me by surprise here. I didn't think he'd come right up. So I was <laughs> trying to stealth up. And all of a sudden this game on. And he took me down to the last chance. This is to be expected. He's got the chains there. So free spin on him. The thing about... <clears throat> pardon me. The thing about this now is he's all alone, which is perfect. When I get captains all alone, and I've got the Ice Storm. All I have to do is just do Ice Storm, Flurry Strike, knock him down. Then you can do some punches. Or execution. And just go at him. Rinse and repeat, because he's alone. So I kind of lucked out here. 
might be another reason why you want to go stealth. And down he goes. Now the third captain, um, this is what I always do. I've been trying to save as many arrows as I can. Not grab too many arrows. Third captain, I always climb up on a pillar. Because I've noticed that um, the biggest problem in the arena is getting a line of fire on the captains. You don't need to kill the orcs unless you want to build up your might or elven rage. Really, all you have to do is kill the captains. So, and I noticed that the biggest problem is simply getting a line of fire in them. So that's my strategy is to jump up on a pillar and you get a clear line of fire in them. I could be burning down stables and looting great halls, but no, I gotta deal with this pink skin ranger. Well, hurry up and die so I can get back to it. Once again, I sucker punched him right away. Don't waste any time. Just go right at these guys hard. Enraged by executions. Okay, that's fine. And look at the list of toys that this guy has got going for him. So he's extremely dangerous. Armed and dangerous. Yeah. Counters frontal attacks. He's got die command. Calls in reinforcements. Vulnerable to stealth. Can be grabbed. I don't know why or what in the world you can do with a clumsy... Um, attribute because when you grab captains they always just shake you off so I don't know okay so did a little bit of a cleansing lay set him on fire he does have a fear of Karagors so boom out comes the Karagor you got three or four Karagors you can use I would definitely use them just release them if you don't if you don't know what else to do and once again, climb up in the pillars so and get a clear line of fire on him wherever he is. Going at him with the bow. And I'm using a, a battle hammer which like has an impact like kind of force. And here the Mr. Fumble Fingers had to step in and use up another one of my last chances. It's time! That was like total Edward sticky hands, the whole thing where like it just Italian sticks to everything and everything at the wrong time. Okay, so now I gotta get some arrows. He's pretty low on health. I guess, you know, get some arrows. Release another Karagor. Leave those for the last captain. Free spin. And he adapted. Uh oh. But I got some might, so let's do a cleansing blaze. Or as I like to call it, apocalypse now. And boom, he's down. So, <laughs> not at all according to plan, but um, my backup plans work. Okay, and here comes the legendary. You always get this nemesis, this legendary nemesis. Now I lucked out. These are all random by the way. All the stats are completely random. So whatever you get. I lucked out. Mortally vulnerable to stealth. Now once again you may not think you get stealth in the arena. But check out, check out this slick move I pulled off here. Yeah I even surprised myself. Something I thought up while you know sitting on the throne one day. So I wonder if you can do that. You know. <laughs> Tell my information Slack. Yeah yeah. And this guy's got a wonderful collection of toys here. Triple strike. Terror chains. He's agile. That means he can dodge your attacks. He's just a nightmare. Enraged by acrobatics. As soon as you vault over him, you're going to enrage him. But he is mortally vulnerable to stealth. And he's soft-headed, so... Um, yeah, it becomes dazed when he's shot in the head. So the first thing I want to do is go stealthy. Second thing I want to do is see if I can use Bow Distract to isolate him from the gang of orcs to make him to come over. To get him to come over. And it didn't work. There we go. Bow distract, see what happens. Turn on Wraith World, see what he's doing. Try it again. Because the other captain came right after me when I went into stealth mode. And he's just stuck there. He's not moving. He's not falling for it all. So let's go for plan B. Plan B is to release all the remaining characters. Now, um, you have to work quickly if you want to do this. Release all the remaining, remaining characters. And during the pandemonium that ensues... I want to rush up in stealth mode and attempt to do a stealth attack on him. Are you kidding? Like, no, I'm not kidding. Check this out. 
release all the remaining characters, go back to stealth mode, run away so the characters don't target me. And once this pandemonium, rush right out quickly. Go straight for the captain while he's distracted, and boom, stealth attack, instant kill. <laughs> That was sweet. Yeah, that was really sweet. And that's it. The arena done. I have upheld my end of the bargain, and your champion has upheld his for fighting this pitiful enemy. The Dark Lord promised mercy. Gaze now upon the bright lord! I make no such offer! Run! <laughs> That's great. Run! Run! Run to your master and give him this message! I come for him! Yeah, tell him he is one B A M F to the power of ten. Bamf. Total bamf. That's it. The arena complete. Five thousand and change XP. Four four hundred change Marion. And the satisfaction of a really slick stealth kill on the last legendary captain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now the goodies. First of all, let's have a little rat meat for lunch. A little more. Mm, rat meat. Okay, and left a legendary piece in there. Here, I'm just doing this for gits and shiggles. <laughs> now that we're in control of the arena. Like, you know, a little bit of payback on the orcs. Now, there's also, also a wealth gem in there. You can see it on the minimap there. I forgot to get it. Just overlooked it completely. There it is, right there off to the left. No biggie. And it sounds like some kind of alarm has sounded. Ha ha! <laughs> this is my victory dance. My end zone victory dance. And that's that. Off to a Hydeer Tower to force an autosave. And there we go, the arena. Done! I want to thank you all very much for watching, and if you thought that was worth the price of admission, hey, give the old Slackster a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.